In this tutorial, we're going to have a look at the settings. Down here, we find the settings tab. The first thing that we see is the appearance. You can choose between classic and reporter. This is the appearance of the recording interface. In reporter as it is now, this is what the interface looks like. It's got a big gain, big record button, big markers display. Let's go back to settings. In the classic view, you can add an image, an image that will be shown in your recording display. If you tap on the image here, you can choose to replace this image. This image, be it a logo, a station ID or whatever, will now be displayed here whilst you're recording. Going back to settings. Here it says use session images. So if we look at the sessions now, we can see we have different images. So that means that when you're recording, the image from the current session will be displayed. Default author. Here you can type in the default author for your recordings. Recording lock is the time it takes before you see the actual slider lock. So if we do a recording now, Ten seconds will go before the lock actually slides up. And here's the slide to pause. Always use speaker forces the sound from the headphones to the speaker. Record monitor gives a loop back of the recording into the headphones. There is a five millisecond delay. Gain boost will increase the sensitivity of the microphone. To be able to share sessions and audio back and forth between your computer and your iPhone, you need to use Wi-Fi sharing. Enable sharing. Here you get a readout of the size of your current recordings and how much room there's left on your hard disk. And the big red button says it all. Delete all sessions. Please be careful with that one. 